Wake up! What? I think I'm gonna hit a million subscribers today. I must sleep! Let me sleep! Oh, come on, you've been asleep for like a week and a half. Can't you wake up now? It's a really important day. Ah, let me sleep! <sighs> Alright. You know, for someone whose only job is to stand in the background of my videos for 15 minutes at a time, you sure sleep a lot. Go, 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 go! Well, I'm almost there. I just want to thank you guys for being here. I really couldn't have done this without you guys. Oh, oh, here it goes! Here it goes! Yes! Yes! I did it! I did it! Wow, a million subscribers. Thank you guys all so much. Especially my little... Um, I mean, all, I mean, especially all of you guys. <laughs> Hey buddy! Whoa! Are you? Yep, I'm you. From Vine. I just wanted to stop by to say congrats. Oh. Well, thanks. You know, with Vine ending, I was really worried I was gonna have to give up on all the social media stuff, but... You made it work. You and your... Gregs. I couldn't have done it without my Gregs. I guess you could say I'm becoming a pretty big deal now. Yeah, well... I have almost 3 million followers on Vine, so... Well, they're about to disappear, so... Greg is dumb! Fuck you! Frick you! Wait. <sighs> One million subscribers. You know, I never really thought I'd get here, but with this many Gregs, cringy Instagram comedy doesn't stand a chance. Just kidding. There's still a lot of cringy content out there, which is good for me because that's what I make videos about. So if there wasn't cringy content out there, then that'd be bad, probably. It's kind of weird, actually. I started this channel with the intention of showing people how weird and in a lot of ways fucked up a lot of these accounts are, and now I kind of depend on them to make videos. So... Anyways, let's talk about Supreme Patty. We've covered a lot of cringy Instagram accounts on this channel, but Supreme Patty is different. His videos are like a different kind of cringe. I've never seen anything like it. For those of you who have never heard of Supreme Patty before, Congratulations, your life is about to get a lot worse. The Supreme Patty has 5.1 million followers on Instagram. He's the CEO of that. He basically makes like comedy skits and these sort of outlandish like jackass style videos. But there's something that separates him from a lot of people that I've seen. When I made a video about Brent Rivera, I called his style of comedy ab comedy because he's always showing off his abs in the videos. I would say that Supreme Patty's genre of comedy is confusing comedy because after watching almost all of his videos I just I just want to know why I don't understand the point or the joke or like the reason behind any of his videos so here's an example of one of his videos and as you can tell from the thumbnail it's already not looking good a lemon and a lime <laughs> I like that and I'm about to hit it from the half court line big buckets so that's Supreme Patty. That's what he does. He squirts lemon juice in his eyes and then does shit. You know how in the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon says bazinga after he says a joke? Well, Supreme Patty squirts lemon juice in his eyes when he's... Actually, just all the time. He does it all the time. You know what I'm worried about? How many times do you think he had to do this before he got that shot? Like, there's no way he made that on the first try. After squirting lemon juice in his eyes? <laughs> I wonder how many lemons this dude went through in this video. It does seem very impressive, but I feel like if it just panned over, like, two feet, you would see, like, a pile of of squeezed lemons. But hey, I mean, there's nothing funnier than permanently damaging your eyes for clout on a daily basis. Okay, here's another one of his videos. A lemon, a lime, and some roners? Damn, I got me a big old boner. Nice. Oh, look at that. Juice. Stop. Stop putting lemons in your eyes. Stop. My, like, I'm gonna cry from watching this. You know how when you think about, like, eating a lemon, your mouth gets watery? I'm watching him squirt lemon juice in his eyes, and my eyes are starting to water. For good measure, he does pour some beer in his eyes, too, so... Good. So this video is just them driving around town, like cracking open beers, handing people beers in their cars. I'm pretty sure all of this is illegal, right? You're not allowed to have open containers of alcohol in your car. I think people in the comments are starting to catch on because this dude commented, police, 
police. Okay, police. And then a police emoji. So now I hope you're starting to get a better understanding of why I'm dubbing this confusing comedy. I just don't know why. He squirts lemon juice in his eyes in like 80% of his videos, I feel like. Do you think he's like addicted to doing this now? Like it kind of seems like he gets a kick out of it because he tries to fit it into almost every video. I wonder if he does this even when the cameras aren't on. Like if he's on a date with a girl and the waiter brings like a lemon water out for him, he's just sitting there like... Uh, babe, are you okay? What? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? Yes! Now, I know you think you've probably got the gist of Supreme Petty shtick by now, but he's actually a very versatile comedian. He has a wide variety of bits that he uses in all of his videos. For example, oh, he's squirting lemon juice in his eyes again. This time with Lele Pons and Hannah Stocking. Great. Honestly, though, if this isn't the crossover of the century, I don't know what is. Today's a great day to uh, squeeze some acid in my eyes, isn't it? <laughs> wow, what a creepy thing to say. <gasps> what the fuck? That's something a sociopath would say. Excuse me, miss. It's a great day to squirt acid in my eyes, don't you think? And they're doing this at the grocery store? Like, how disrespectful is that? Imagine, like, a father rushing home from work, stopping at the grocery store to pick up some food for his wife and his newborn daughter. But he gets home late, and the mom's all mad, and the baby's asleep, and the mother's like, What took you so long? And the father's just like, there were these fucking kids squirting lemon juice in their eyes. They held up the whole store. And the thing about these videos is like, they're not even very funny. They're just like awkward. I just imagine everybody in the grocery store just standing around awkwardly, like looking at them being like, what the fuck is going on? Hot sauce, baby powder, and some eggs? I'm about to break a leg. I like how it gives you a little preview of what's about to happen before he does it. And it's a rhyme, which is really sweet. Hot sauce, baby powder, and some eggs? I'm about to break my legs. What great last words. Like if this goes wrong and he gets seriously injured, what a great way to plummet to your death by prefacing it with a little nursery rhyme. Now in this video, he doesn't do lemon juice actually. He does hot sauce. I guess he decided to spice things up. That was really bad. Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? Crack the seal on the hot sauce, baby. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh. I can barely even watch this. It's so hard to watch because I just, my whole body like shrivels up. It's a very physical cringe. It's a full body cringe. Oh! 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 Good, yep, slap him in the face for good measure. Throw some eggs at his head, hell yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> like, which, wait, which I mean, one I is don't it? Which one is it? This left eye. Wow, his eye hurts. What a surprise. What a twist ending to this one. He pours hot sauce in his eyes and his friend slaps him in the head, throws eggs at him and he jumps off his house and his eye hurts. M. Night Shyamalan ending over here. <laughs> now you might be thinking, Danny, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe pouring hot sauce in your eyes doesn't even hurt and he's just pretending it does. It's not like he's gonna cause permanent damage to his body doing this. Uh, in his next video, he's wearing an eye patch. In his next few videos, actually, because he messed up his eye so bad. I don't think I can think of a worse reason for having to wear an eye patch. Hey, dude, what happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? Nah. Oh, did you get surgery? No. What happened? I poured hot sauce in my eyes, all right? Nerd. There are some things I really like about his videos though. Like in some of his videos, he's doing things like shooting basketballs or playing soccer. And his friend behind the camera is just so encouraging. Patty Renato with the moves. B -b 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 Patty Buckets. splash -o rama Buckets. Buckets. What a nice friend. He's just like kindly encouraging his friend to like make baskets and pour Hennessy in his eyes and drive a motorcycle off the roof. There she goes. He's very supportive. It's kind of sweet to see such a wholesome friend. Okay, here's an absolute classic prank. Patty goes into a gas station convenience store with a giant gun and a mask on, but instead of stealing money, he puts money in the register. I don't know about you guys, but I was just thinking to myself like, wow, now seems like a really great time for some armed gunman based humor. And if anybody deserves to be pranked, I think we can all agree that it's a dude making minimum wage at a gas station. Come to think of it, you know who else deserves to be pranked? Librarians. Could you get out, please? Nerds. To be fair, he doesn't seem like the worst person in the world. He does have some videos where he's helping out homeless people. He like gives them food, cleans them up gives them weed. I really like this video. He goes to Taco Bell and he offers to give the cashier $2,000 to quit his job right then and there. Honestly, you should just quit. Yeah, you should just quit, bro, to be honest. Look, I got two bands, bro. I'll give you two bands right two now. Two rackaroos, bro. I've never seen a video that was so charitable and yet 
flexed on me so hard. Supreme Petty's also got this really weird thing going on where he's constantly promoting these free chains on his website. Yo, Patty, bro, where'd you get all this ice at? SupremePetty.com, brother. All you gotta do is swipe up to get iced up. That's all, all you gotta do? Watches, accessories are free. Just swipe up. Shit. Swipe up? They're free. He's constantly posting on the story that all of the chains he wears are for free on his website, and all you gotta do is swipe up to get iced up. And if you go to his website, it does seem like he has a bunch of chains on there for free, and all you have to do is pay for shipping. But I looked into it a little bit more, and I watched a few videos that other people have made about this, and apparently it's just like a drop shipping scam, where basically he's getting all these chains for like $6 a piece, and saying he's selling them for free, and all you have to do is pay for shipping, but the shipping is like $15 to $20. So he's really selling these cheap ass chains and making like $10 off of each one, while still seeming like a really great guy for selling these chains for free. There's lots of videos of people getting these chains in the mail, and they're all made out of like plastic or really bad quality metal. Metals. It broke right away. It broke right out of the bag. I don't know if it's legal to be advertising like this or if it's just a really scummy thing to do, but either way, I don't know. I'm so confused. And that is all I have to say about Supreme Patty. He has very confusing videos, and I just wanted to basically make this video to vent because I've been thinking about them for a long time, and I just don't know what to think about them. So please let me know. All right, now it's time to do my ad read for Honey. So without further ado, here is the ad that I made for Honey. Honey! Is that, is that the whole thing? Honey, download it now, it's free! Uh, okay, well I'm not gonna use that and instead I'll just tell you all about Honey. Honey is actually really great. I've been hoping that they would sponsor me for a long time because I have actually been using it for months. It's a tool for shopping that you can basically install to your web browser that automatically searches for like promo codes and coupon codes and all that stuff when you're shopping online. It's personally saved me a lot of money. It works on like Walmart, it works on J. Crew. A lot, it works on over 30,000 stores. I personally use it most on Amazon. The best part about it is you don't really have to do anything after you've installed it. It just, it automatically applies every coupon code that it finds to your purchases. Like, look at this. I put $220 worth of stuff in my Best Buy cart, and Honey searches for coupons and saves me $44 off my order. It only takes two clicks to install, so if you want to get it, just go to joinhoney.com greg. The link will be in my description. When you think about it, there's really no reason not to add it, because it doesn't really do anything except save you money, and it's totally free, so why wouldn't you get it? So go ahead and download it for free. It helps me out, it helps Honey out, and it helps you out. So it benefits everybody involved. Huh, all right, much better. Well guys, thank you again for 1 million subscribers. That's crazy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to join Greg with the strongest army on the internet. All right, thank you Ashley with two E's for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time where I print Greg out on a big banner and I have a plane fly it over the whole city for everyone to see. Bye.